Hey everyone, Anton here from the Huntress Sock Tactical Response Team coming at you with another video walkthrough. And this one is really, really interesting um, and hopefully eye-opening for everyone. This is actually gonna be a little sneak peek of a behind the scenes look at a ransomware case. So this particular incident actually started with a fairly interesting alert that kind of alerted us to a binary running out of the user's uh, music folder. So typically on a Windows host, you do have folders for documents, for pictures, for music, and things like that. However, executable files don't normally get dropped into the music folder. That is a really, really kind of good sign that something malicious might be happening on the host, which was exactly the case here. When we kind of dug into things further, we noticed that the binary that was running out of the music folder was actually spawning uh, further processes and further commands. And in particular, what got our attention was the deletion of the Windows uh, shadow copies. So in the Windows kind of ecosystem, shadow copies exists as a means to provide you another kind of layer of backup. So if you lose something, you can potentially restore it from a shadow copy. And ransomware operators will often delete these shadow copies so that when they do their encryption, you have one less option to restore from backup. Based on those two kind of signals that we received, we decided to isolate the network in order to prevent encryption, to prevent lateral movement. Then the tactical response process kicked off. We pulled the event logs for the incident and we kind of dived in to the network in order to find the initial access vector. And in this case, what we discovered was that the initial access actually came from an exposed RDP server. They had an account sitting there without MFA enabled, and that account ostensibly had a password that was easily guessable or easily cracked or easily brute forced and things like that. So what we saw here was pretty interesting, and I'll kind of walk everyone through this timeline because I find it very fascinating. So what we see here is the first malicious login occurred about 10 minutes after noon, so 12.10, and it didn't take very long after that for the ransomware binary itself to be deployed. So we see the first login occurring at 12.10, and we see the first defender alert at 12.26. So about 15 minutes is all it took for this particular threat actor to ransom the network. And luckily for this network, the Huntress SOC was watching, we isolated the network, we prevented encryption. So we feel good about this case. However, if you think about this from an incident response perspective, and if you think about this from the perspective of your own networks, how quickly would you be able to respond to a potential malicious login event? Um, again, as we can see here, the time delta between the malicious login to ransomware deployment and ransomware encryption is about 15 minutes. And we've actually seen this kind of dynamic play out even faster, uh, but in this case, the timeline is really neat and easily presentable. The other interesting thing here is that when we looked at the general failed logins uh, for this particular network, we found that the network was actually getting brute force for the entire day. So unfortunately uh, for this particular organization, they did not have our SIM enabled. Um, had they had the SIM enabled, we would have been able to discover the malicious login quicker. We would have been able to investigate the brute force a little bit quicker. So just a really good um, best practice to do in your own environments, to ship your logs to some kind of SIM, some kind of log platform so that you have them available for review. And in this case, the brute force actually lasted all day. And we see about 60,000 failed attempts. And this really goes to show you how determined and how ferocious these threat actors are. They will hammer your networks for as long as it takes to get access. And until they do get access, they will keep brute forcing, keep brute forcing, and until they find success. And in this case, unfortunately, they did find success. They were able to authenticate the network, but luckily we were able to isolate the network. We were able to prevent encryption, but this does a really good job of illustrating how quickly ransomware gets deployed. The time delta between the first malicious login to the first defender alert for ransomware being deployed was just 15 minutes. That is not a lot of time at all. So luckily for this organization, we were having the watch and we saved the day. 
So that does it for this particular video, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Thank you.